Hello friends. For the past few weeks I've been looking at drawing Professor Farnsworth from Futurama, figuring out how to draw him, his features and the proportions between the different parts of his body. And I think I did a fairly decent job of it, but I know I didn't quite get him right, so I thought I'd try a suggestion from Dave of Blended Planet, and that's to simply trace over an actual drawing. And I didn't want to use Farnsworth again, so I used Fry. And at first tracing seemed like cheating, and take some of the fun out of drawing, and it could create a more static image. But the more I thought of it, the more it could make sense. So today I thought I'd give it a go and see how it went. It will keep the characters on model, and if I do animate the full 30 minute fan episode, it'll help speed it up and could actually help to make it achievable. So I found a video clip of Futurama on YouTube, and on an appropriate frame I took a copy, saved it on disk, and dragged it into OpenTunes, which copied it into a column. And after resizing it to be as large as possible, so I could choose to show them at different sizes, I created a tuned raster level and set up my brush and traced over it, which is actually one of my favourite parts of animation, the inking stage. And then I took the colours from the underlying image and coloured them in. It didn't take too long to do all this, which surprised me a little, and the final result was pretty good. So then to add movement to him, I added the mouth and eye movements. And to do that, first I extended the drawing onto another frame, then duplicated the drawing, erased the part of the eye or mouth that I wanted to change, and then drew in the new part. And again, to find out how the mouth shape should look, I found a video clip of Fry talking, paused the video, and used the greater than and less than buttons on my keyboard to step through it one frame at a time, and use those as reference. And drawing these in by hand really helped me feel better about the original tracing as now I'm adding the animation in myself. But as you're drawing over the main trace drawing, the proportions still look right. So you still get the benefit of tracing in the first place. And finally, to remove some of the stiffness and to add some life without animating his whole body, I used the plastic tool to add some basic movement, which actually turned out really well and it's so easy to do, but makes such a big difference. And after watching a couple of episodes of Futurama, I did notice that quite a lot of the time, the characters didn't really move too much. So with this technique of some basic animated mouth and eye movements, and use of the plastic tool, this could be a way forward to completing the project. And finally, I added a simple background that I drew, based on the original drawing, and added a small blur to it. So here's the final output. Fry's not actually saying anything in particular here, but it shows the basic principle of how it might look, without too much hand animation, and I reckon it might just work. But next week I want to try another way to add extra movement without hand animating him or fully setting up a cutout character, and that should speed up the animation even more. But this week's been a really useful exercise for me to see how tracing can actually be a useful base to animate from, and that really is Good news everyone.